I, what I'm saying is that the music industry has been killed by greed. I'm, uh, I'm saying all the optimism I was talking about before, and isn't it great, and everything's about to explode, and, and music will win, and the, the, the flowering of music will, will show, you know, wh wh where the spirit of the country is at, has been killed by the, exactly the same thing. The war in Vietnam, that, that has been killed. Uh, every, everything has been, in other words, we're, we're, we are, are now in a desert. Everywhere you look, I mean, like, a couple of days ago I saw an old John Wayne movie. And I'm an old John Wayne fan. I saw Rio Grande, a John Ford, John Wayne movie. And he, here, here was John Wayne in, in the prime of his life playing an army officer. And his whole, the, whole, the whole thing of the movie was a very sentimental movie, but he was talking about the nobility of the Corps, the nobility of the service. Uh, and, and, he, and he was giving, uh, he was, he was giving a portrayal that was intensely human, and, and he was portraying a great man and, and everything, he, every, that movie, w w while, while being a distortion of, of, of the genocide of the Indians, still portrayed a, a valid idea of the American soldier. Or John Wayne in Sands of Iwo Jima, where he plays Sergeant Stryker, still plays, he's, here, here's a Marine, John Wayne plays the Marine. And, John, and here, he, still this fantastic nobility, still there's a feeling of the cause, still there's a feeling of, I'm out here in a field and I'm doing it for a reason. And, and now John Wayne makes the Green Berets movie with the government, and it will put it out. And, and without seeing it, you can just tell up front it will be a, a technical, scientific, dull, humanless movie in the same sense uh, as, uh, as what's going on in the music industry is today, in the same sense as, uh, as, as the 2000th the psychedelic group that comes out is the same thing as the Green Berets. It, 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 it's, it's lifelessness, as Dylan says in his album notes in Highway 61, lifelessness. Uh, it, it, it is, it is the, um, the corporate image going out so strong, the American corporate image in the case of the Green Berets going out so strong that it destroys all life of, of anybody there. And what, what, what I mean, in, in, one, in one fell swoop, just to get the whole point of what's happened to America, they should show a double feature of, of, of for example, she wore a yellow ribbon starring John Wayne and Green Berets starring John Wayne. In both, he's portraying a soldier. In one, he's portraying an alive soldier and one is portraying a dead soldier. And, 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 and there, I, th I think, and, and John, I'm, I'm using John Wayne because John Wayne is such an important man to America in terms of image, in terms of uh, the conception of, of America, in terms of, uh, you know, he, he was a hero in a certain sense. When, when America needed heroes for World War II, John Wayne was very convenient because he, he was, you know, he was there. He was a great man. I mean, no matter what you think of his politics, he happens to be a great screen figure. Now he's old and dying, and America is old and dying in that same way. Uh, and it's sad. I'm, I'm not saying that to attack him, because I, because I, you know, every, everybody I'm talking about is somebody I essentially loved at one point, including Jack Holzman. I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I look at this whole picture. I look at Maynard Solomon. Look at Jack Holzman. You can even look at Columbia. Even even Columbia, which as a corporation, a few years ago, happened to put out some great things. It, it was Columbia that put out. It was John Hammond and Columbia that put out Dylan at his best. What, they, were, they were putting out a lot of interesting things. And, and the difference between that, even, let's say let's take Columbia Records as an example. Use them uh, in 63, 64, and look at, and, and look at Columbia right now, and, and, and you see uh, an incredible ad. This is the Columbia rock machine has soul. <laughs> and they present one of the most soulless lines ever to be presented. You know, and uh, up and down the line, no matter where you look, you will see nothing but death. Uh, and 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 that that's the old point I'm making in this in this talk is that um, is that this this sense of death has has taken over all aspects of life. The music industry was once in the vanguard. They're now being literally strangled. All the artists that were there have been strangled. All the people who were producing uh, great things before, like Donovan, like Tim Harden, like Dylan, have all fallen artistically. And and why they fell uh, has you know, it just has to do with this whole, with, with what amounts to a whole network of corruption. It has to do with a lot of lawyers, a lot of deals, a lot of agencies, a lot of. Uh, has to do with the war. It has to do with the. Uh, the whole picture. And so th there's my happy, optimistic viewpoint of 1968. What else do you want to know?